from Denver to Blackhawk today, I went from 64 degrees at 1.30 to snow squalls in just 30 minutes. The difference was in the wind. The air coming over the mountains was compressing and the high pressure on the front range, which caused it to warm. That's also how it stayed mostly dry through the day there. In the mountains, it was snow and snow squalls. Highly concentrated bands of snow developed this afternoon as the winds in the jet stream whipped high above our heads at more than 100 miles per hour. That gave the air some extra lift in spots and made more snow. The Front Range Mountains are well on their way to 6 to 12 inches of snow tonight, and the avalanche danger is on the rise once again. There's an avalanche warning out for the Aspen and Gunnison zones, but the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says that even six inches of new snow can destabilize the snowpack in all of Colorado with its current condition. The snowpack in this area is incredibly weak. They say a weak layer at the bottom of the snowpack is just waiting for the right amount of weight on top to bring the whole slab down. This is a problem that's been there since December, and they say it will likely remain for the rest of the season. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.